superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found in this weekly video, we will learn to spell words that compare. In phonics, we'll be learning about consonant trigraph DGE. On Tuesday, we'll be reading the informational story titled Alive with Light. On Wednesday, we will learn about verb to be in the past tense. On Thursday, we will learn how to draft and construct an opinion writing paragraph. On Sunday, we will continue learning about words that compare. So words that compare, either we add ER when we compare two things or EST when we compare more than two things like three things or four things. Now, the spelling words for this week are slowest, short, shorter, and shortest. Now, let's use these words in sentences. Saturn is the slowest mover of all the planets. She had her hair cut short. I'm shorter than my sister. February is the shortest month. I graph D, G, E. Sometimes three letters make one sound like the letters D, G, E as in itch and lich. Alive with light. The focus question, what kinds of light do some living things make and why? The genre of the story is an informational text and it's a non-fiction story. We often think of light coming from the sun or light bulb, but we do not know that many living things create light as well. A live with light provides students a look at living things that make their own light and the reason why. The book can also be used to teach you how to identify the main idea and the supporting details. So our objectives are to connect to prior knowledge to understand the text, to identify the main idea and the details, to describe the information provided by the photographs. In the previous video, we learned about verb to be in the present tense. Today, we will learn about verb to be in the past tense. There are three forms of verb to be in the present. We have am, are, and is. But the two forms that are in the past tense are was and were. So verb to be in the past tense can be was or were. With the pronoun I, I use was. We say you were, she was, he was, it was. For the plural, which means more than one thing, we say we were. You were and they were. If the subject is singular, so the right form of verb to be should be was. If the subject is plural, then the right form of verb to be should be where. We say John was, because John is one person, so the right form of verb to be is was. John was 10 years old. He was young. Opinion writing or Oreo opinion writing. Opinion, tell your reader how you feel about the topic. The R stands for the reason, 
tell your reader why you feel this way about your topic. E. Give three specific examples to support your topic. The O is opinion, so you need to restate your opinion by telling your reader one more time how you feel about the topic. So parts of opinion writing, we start with a topic sentence. I think Reese's peanut butter cups are the best candy in the world. This candy is my favorite because I love chocolate. This is the first reason. Second, peanut butter and chocolate taste really good together. This is the second reason. The last reason or the third reason, lastly, they are the perfect size for you to carry in your pocket. Now, the closing sentence or restating the opinion again. That's why Reese's peanut butter cups are better than any other candy on the planet.